TTNHD Production Live here with filmmaker, writer, producer, documentarian Howard S. Berger. Howard, you are currently working on your documentary, The Life in the Death of Joe Meek. Correct, yeah. And you are in post-production on it? Yeah, finally. Uh, we've been working on it for, a, this is going to be our ninth year, and we want it to be our last year of working on it. We've got uh, spent um, a good chunk of time in England and across America doing uh, interviews uh, with everyone who ever worked with Joe Meek, who was the uh, UK's first independent pop record producer uh, in the 1960s. Okay. And what inspired you to make this documentary? Um, we were looking, me and my partner uh, Susan Stom, and we were looking for a project um, that would be a good narrative film. Uh, this was a long time ago, and we came across Joe's story, um, which really wasn't covered very well anywhere uh, up to that point in America. He's still not really covered, except for blog bloggers or you know music enthusiasts. And we um, we just thought it was a very sad, odd story the way it was told to us. So we started working on it as a script. And when we found more and more uh, out about his actual life, we we just couldn't bear, bear doing it as a narrative. It, it had to be done as a documentary because nothing we came up with was more interesting than what we were finding out about him. Wow. And you're hoping this will be your final year working on the project. So what can happen for it to be your final year? Are you looking for some more funds to finish the film? Yeah. We, we've gone about as far as we can go. Uh, we have over a hundred interviews that in some way, shape, or form are going to end up in the documentary, maybe a, a lot less than that probably, but they'll end up you know, as extras, but we have, um, uh, we just, the last interview we, we got was Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, and he um, was very gracious with his time, as everybody in our cast was, so now, having sold about three of our own cars and put all of our own money into it, this is it, so we're going to start a, start a campaign, and we just got approved, and, and within the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll start a Kickstarter campaign to, to raise finishing funds. Wonderful. And in your spare time, you are a blogger. Tell me a bit about your blog. Um, I do it with uh, my uh, partner, uh, Kevin Marr. It's called Destructible Man. And it is um, basically uh, our way of analyzing film language. We, we take films that have uh, a dummy death in it, uh, which is a scene where uh, there's a special effect of an actor being replaced by a special effects dummy of some kind uh, in a death scene. And we, we've discovered a formula in there which has uh, actually led us to um, analyze the movies thematically, which was kind of shocking that a, an effect would produce these ripples in narrative. So we have, uh, we have uh, basically deconstructions of films with, uh, with dummy deaths in them. Wonderful. And is there a website for both your documentary and what's website for your blog as well? Uh, well, right now uh, the film we're getting the website ready, uh, so we're on. We're, we're you can basically uh, take a look at us on Facebook uh, or on MySpace, uh, and it's uh, "A Life in the Death of Joe Meek" is the name of the movie. So you can type in Joe Meek in the search and probably find it. But it's uh, you can find it under uh, uh, www.tinyearl.com slash Joe Meek movie, one word. And Destructible Man, you can just look us up under www.destructibleman.com. Great. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck with the documentary and the blog. Thank you. Great. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for TTNHD Production Live.